Welcome to Gospel Music USA, bringing you the best in Southern gospel music from coast to coast. Now here are your hosts of Gospel Music USA, Danny Jones, Karen Peck Gooch, and Mike Lefevre. Hello everyone, welcome to today's editions of Gospel Music USA. My name's Danny Jones of the Singing News Magazine. I'm Mike Lefevre of the Lefevre Quartet. And I'm Karen Peck Gooch of Karen Peck and New River. And we're very excited about the show today. I'm a little partial with this group. Really? We have the Guardians from Columbus, Ohio, and John Rousey, who used to travel with us. He has written a lot of our, our songs as well. But he's uh, with the Guardians, and we are seeing their names and their faces yes, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere in Southern Gospel Music. We're very excited for their ministry and what the Lord is doing with the Guardians. And we have them today on the show. We do. It's kind of like exciting. sending out one of your own children into their own ministry, isn't it? <laughs> well, kind of. Okay. All right. So, so you didn't quite like that idea. All right. That's well, anyway, it. Uh, you, we're think, uh, we think you're really going to enjoy these guys. As a matter of fact, uh, they're sort of new faces to the world of gospel music, but I promise you these guys are going to be around for a long time. So, ladies and gentlemen, for their very first time on Gospel Music USA, here are the Guardians. We are so excited about being part of Gospel USA TV program today. And we are also excited to have a gospel music writer in our group, Mr. John Darren Rousey. A few years back, he wrote a song that the Gaither Vocal Band sung. And today we want to sing it for you, Singing with the Saints. For an end at all celebration to begin eternity with a righteous congregation. This world's coming to an end, and it won't be long. The party's gonna start and go on and on and on. 
on. I'll be singing with the saints at the morning light. Bring it in the day, cause there is no night. Saying goodbye to the heartache, the trouble and pain. I'll be sitting at the throne with an angel band. Shouting hallelujah to the great I am. If you think it's a dream, what it is. Be singing with the same. Now the tambourine is ringing and David starts to feel the rhythm. Paul and Silas are humming a tune they wrote in prison. Ooh, yeah. Now Gabriel hears the music, it picks up his horn. It's just another glory, hallelujah, morn. I'll be singing with the saints at the morning light. Ring it in the day, cause there is no night. Saying goodbye to the heartache, trouble, and pain. I'll be sitting at the throne with an angel band. Shouting hallelujah to the great I am. If you think it's a dream, well, it ain't. I'll be singing with the saints. Ooh, yeah. I'll be singing. Saints at the morning light, ringing in the day, cause there is no night. We'll be saying goodbye to the heartache, the trouble and pain. Trouble and pain. I'm gonna be sitting at the throne with an angel band, shouting hallelujah to the great I am. If you think it's a dream, well, it I'll be singing with the saints, I will. This life we live is all about worry. We worry about everything. John thought about that when he wrote this song because he just kind of put it on a little bit of a lighter song and says, I ain't going to worry anymore.
Welcome back to Gospel Music USA. Our guest today uh, is a brand new face to our program, yes. The Guardians. They make their home in Columbus, uh, Ohio. And uh, of course, Karen still thinks it's North Carolina, but <laughs> we, we won't go there. Anyway, uh, we've got mm -hmm. uh, a lot of experience sitting over there, don't we? Yes, these, are, these guys are great and they're everywhere. I mean, it seems like you guys have just exploded the last few months. I mean, you're everywhere, you're on, you know, main concerts and, but you, one thing I want to talk about too is that, that album, your latest album is fantastic. And John, I know from experience, I had the privilege of traveling with you for a few years and uh, you wrote a lot of our songs and, um, and you're a great producer as well. And how was it like when you found out that Larry Goss, the, the great Larry Goss, mm -hmm. was going to produce your album? It was really a dream come true because I've seen Larry Goss's name my whole life. Um, from as, as young as I can remember, I've seen Larry Goss's name on things. And you hear his orchestrations, and it sounds like a movie production. And so the opportunity to get in a room with him was a little bit nerve-wracking first because I you know I didn't know how he worked and I kept thinking wow what if uh, I look like a big dummy and because I, I do a lot of the arranging for the group and I thought wow this is I, I was sweating it a little bit and he was one of the most kind oh, yeah. considerate gentlemen that I've ever met and he made you feel right at home from the very beginning and just, uh, he couldn't have been more encouraging and complimentary. He just was a great, great man. We sure miss him. I'm so glad that you had the opportunity to work with him before he passed. And I mean, that, that, I mean that's a bucket list. I know that was a bucket exactly. list for you. You know, it's, uh, we were like the last full-blown project that he did before he passed away. And to be able to do that was a, a dream come true and just a, a check off your bucket yes. list for anybody who's in music. Yes. Right. Karen, what I loved yes. about Larry Goss, with all of his talents, with all of his skills, he was a down-to-earth person. We say, Larry, I mean, well, how did you get all this? He said, Dean, I don't know why God gave me this. But he said, I know how I got to use it. And he, he was just, wow, to see a man with that talent and no ego. I mean, it's just yeah. unbelievable, and it just blesses your heart beyond measure. One thing that yeah. I think about where uh, you're, cut, you know, looking at uh, where you've been, you started, when, when did you start? In the 60s, you said? I started in the early said? 60s with the Golden Keys Quartet. Jim Hill, who wrote What a Day That Will Be, left the Golden Keys and went with the Stamps. We were doing Lloyd Orell concerts back then. Oh, yes, and I remember great those time. days. And what an opportunity that was for me, Karen, because I was a little hillbilly in West Virginia. I uh, weighed 125 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Come over to uh, Fort Smith, Ohio, to sing with the Golden Keys Quartet. And, and that, that just gave me opportunities, and God has blessed my life beyond measure. Well, now, how, Neil, how long have you, the two of you been together? Uh, since 1979. Yes. Yes. Well, I was going <clears> to <throat> say, it's been a long time. Yeah. This is what I, I, I know you all are having a ball. Oh, I on. mean, you're having a blast. I mean, traveling, and, and it uh, just seems like God is just really blessing you. Yeah. He is. And last, I said this. <clears throat> uh, now, go ahead. The last three years have been wonderful because that's when John came on board and ranging and everything. and Tell us when we're not doing it right and do it right <laughs> or else. Uh, it's been great. Let me tell you maybe a small piece about that. Neil and I, this group, the Guardians, have been together almost 27 years. But we were a quartet until three years ago. Uh, two of our gentlemen went on to heaven, Harold Patrick and Homer Fry. Uh, and then another gentleman retired and John took his place. But Neil and I, and not Neil so much in the last 10 years, but I've been involved in inspecting the nuclear weapons programs. So I was on the road 60 to 70 percent of my time, and we were singing cover, meaty songs, ministering on weekends. And then the doors opened up for us to where that we could now do more ministry. Uh, a new gentleman come in that's managing the, the key work that I have much better than I and uh, gives us this opportunity then to full-time focus on the ministry, which is always what we wanted to do. And then to be singing with gentlemen who have no egos, you know, we're, we know we're nothing. We just go out and sing and minister. Wow, what an opportunity. What an opportunity. Yeah. Think about your latter days. I say this just about yeah. every show. But Ecclesiastes mm -hmm. 7.10 says it's not wise to say that you've seen your better days That's right. because your best days are ahead. And I see you guys. And then, and then of course, I know John. John's the package. He's the yeah. he's all around. the, yes. the pack. John, we're, yeah, we're bragging on you today, but it's true. It's very true. It's not, it's not a eulogy. It, we're just bragging. Yeah, I mean, really. I mean, John is the, John is the real deal. I mean, yeah. he's the, the songwriter, the original. 
ranger, but he's he's a great guy to travel yes, with. Yes, he is. Great Christian, Christian family man. Yes. And uh, tell us about, I'm, I'm doing the talking here. Well, you have well, we're used to that. Dean alluded to, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, adding a lot of great songs to their to their program and everything. And of course, a lot of them, you know, had to come from the pen of yes. John over there. Yes. John, real quickly, you know, you're a very prolific songwriter in the Southern gospel music industry now. Just for those who may not have been able to put the name with the songs, give us a quick rundown of some of the songs that have, you've, you've penned. Well, besides singing with the Saints for the Gaither Vocal Band, of course, when I was with Karen Peck in New River, I had the privilege of writing. I want to know how it feels with her and Hay and several songs that the group did back in those days, the true Truth is, and just recently, in just the last few months, I had the Bowling's uh, last single, "Somebody's Believing," and Legacy Five's previous single, "He Is to Me." And I, so the the Lord gives me the opportunity to write for a lot of groups, and it's exciting to me. I love it. One thing that I love about you is you're so uh, giving. You know, he'll write these great songs, and then he just, it's like the Lord gives it to him, and then he goes, okay, now you sing it. Yeah. You know, he never holds on to, to his uh, his gifts. He, he always shares the gifts, and we love that. Right quickly, your families, uh, your... Yeah. I have three children and ten grandchildren. You've got the big yeah. anniversary. I have 50, 50th year this August coming up with my wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic, and I know uh, y'all are excited about uh, your families. And John, I know that you just uh, become a grandfather yeah, for the first time. They were already in the club, and I just got yeah. to join That's great. two months ago. Two yes. months ago, I got to join. If we were to get in touch with you, how would the folks at home get in touch with you, or maybe want to book you for a concert? Yeah. TheGuardiansMusic.com has all of our info on TheGuardiansMusic.com. That is great. great. So make sure you look up these guys. Uh, uh, on the internet. Uh, if they come to your town, make sure you go by and visit them. And we're coming back with more great music right here on Gospel Music USA. A force lies within our hands of power not known to man it opens the door to all that's in store for those who obey it's where miracles wait for you and mercy comes shining through just see what the can do when somebody prays somebody prays and heaven pays attention somebody prays and angels listening oh in heaven souls reach its very end the pressures of life all the burdens and strife just don't go away oh but strength comes down from above and touches that hurting one and faith
Guardians, the Guardians, man, that was incredible. And it's amazing, isn't it amazing what prayer can do? It changes everything. It, it changes everything. No matter what you're going through, prayer changes things. That was a great song. And we have enjoyed so much having you guys on the program today. Thank you for being with us. And uh, uh, if, you're, if, you're see, if you're just now tuning in or you're catching the end of this, uh, these are the Guardians, and uh, they've been our guests today, and y'all just an outstanding job. Listen, you're going to be blessed by another song. Y'all going to do us another song, right? We are, yes. What are you going to do? This song's called Let the Healing Begin. I actually wrote it when I was with Karen Peck in New River, and I've seen this song minister to more people than probably anything I've ever written because it's a hurting world out there, but God's still the healer. Amen. Y'all check out The Guardians on their website and uh, listen to them sing one more time, The Guardians. I know you feel lonely and you think no one knows. The pain in your heart that you try not to show But it's been there so long That it's hard to hold on to your joy And you need the joy But there is a hope when the Lord reaches out With peace and some answers to trade for your doubts after all you've been through there's only one thing to do let the healing begin it's time for your heart to mend your hope has been Sometimes we go on with life, but we don't understand why things have happened the way that they have. And your heart keeps on yearning for love that keeps turning away, so far away. But the Lord has a plan to make sense of it all he's listening closely if only you call when you try by yourself that's when jesus is waiting to help he wants to help let the healing begin right now because it's time for has been gone you're fighting alone a battle you can't seem to win let the healing begin this time the pain has to end reach out for the hand of a friend Let his heal. 